So I tried to teach the sound, the clapping sound with the tools, the garden tools, and that did not go well because Jazzy finally decided, I'm scared of that thing, and Ollie kept leaving. So then I got a squeaky toy out thinking, all right, if you have a squeaky toy, you can make the squeaky noise and you can teach her to come that way. Well, Ollie left when I did the squeaky and I thought that might be a little bit too difficult. So what I concluded is the best thing to do in your case would be to wear a necklace that has a whistle on it. Um, I've, I've had one for years. I used to wear one all the time and I think I'm going to start wearing it again because the whistle would be the perfect way to teach her. I don't whistle very well, but I did do that. Jazzy, come! Jazzy, come! So I already conditioned the whistle. Good girl. Good girl. I conditioned it a little bit before this just happened. So this is how I condition it. Oh, that's the kiss kiss. That's how I condition the kiss kiss, right? And so I'll do the same thing with the whistle. Tree. 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 And then next step would be I go I'm closer and do it. When she's at the tree, she won't go to the tree though because I have the cheese. Oh, I'm gonna go back to my chair and maybe she'll go back to the tree. No, she's gonna follow me. That's okay. So, anyway, I, we didn't do any leash walking because I've spent all my time trying to find a good way for you to get her attention clap getting her to come to you so what we do have though uh, what I would like you to practice is since you can't do the kiss kiss noise but you can make that other noise the woo -woo, you can even pretend to whistle you know if you can't whistle whistle you can pretend you can go woo -woo. <laughs> that can be the way to get her attention so that's one thing that you can practice you make that noise you give her a treat then you make that noise when she's a little bit distracted and give her a treat and then you just add distractions also another thing is trying to get her attention before she goes overboard if she goes overboard you're not probably going to get her over to you and another note is um, i'm sit set up the patio chair and the stairs for ollie to get on i've set those up near the end of the patio so you can practice from here, calling her over. When you are done with your exercise, so the, the way to teach the dog to come every single time is something good happens every single time. If you call her away from the tree and then put her in the house, she's most likely not gonna come the next time. So when it is time to get her to come in the house, uh, if she's out at the tree, she's barking, and you don't have to go anywhere, uh, just call her to you. Once she gets to you, give her a treat, then let her go back again and just keep calling her. She'll learn eventually to come whenever you call, and then after that she'll learn to come when you're not calling. I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see this, so I'm going to get a little closer. I'm going to whistle. <whistles> Jazzy, come! <whistles> Jazzy, come! So she won't come because just, there is a squirrel in there, or she's too excited. She's over her threshold, so I have to get closer. Jazzy, I'm actually, this is where you would, come on. I had to get right up to her, because she wouldn't come at all. Now she's coming. If you have to go get her and grab her and bring her back, don't give her a treat right away. Don't, don't give her a treat until she's come um, a lot closer probably. I did give her a treat this time, but I, I don't, I would rather ideally do it once you got back to the patio. Sometimes you have to give it at the treat, then, then the next time you give it farther away from the tree, then the next time, you know, you just get farther and farther away from the tree each time. 
when you're giving the treat.